Hello folks, so today we're going to be going over my Enhancement Profit Calculator version 2. Uh, There's a new guide because there's lots changed. Um, just so that you know, it's going to be broken down into sections, uh, basically so that it's easier for you to jump to the information that's more relevant. Uh, so we'll go through setup and then how to use and then tips and tricks, basically. Um, that will all be in the timestamps. And then what we're going to do is... Uh, this guide is going to go live with the sheet. So I'm using a copy just for the example, but it will be moved over onto the main sheet when this is released. No, don't worry about that. So this is version two. Uh, go into file, make a copy. And then uh, basically I've compressed all the information into two sheets. So there's no massive changes like more profit wise, just refined everything. Um, so without further ado, we'll get into how to set up the sheet. So once you've made a copy, you come into the prices and then you're going to set the region to the region that you use and then the language to the language you you know best basically um and then this is going to change this language is important because it'll change what's written here and you will have to write the exact same in the enhancement profit calculator part but before we get there we'll go into the next part of setup which is a fail stack designer this is the bigger part of setting up the sheet so this here is for setting your price stack cost. For basically, if you're going to do a 30 stack, 25 stack, 20 stack, 15 stack, or 10 stack. This is for doing your prior enhancements, which is an 18 stack is the soft cap, but you can overstack. Uh, basically, you can just edit how you're going to do that from there. Then the next thing that you're going to have to look into doing is basically each of these stacks. So your duo stack, which is typically a 40, your tri stack, which is a 44, tet stack, which is 110, and then a pen stack, which is 240. Now, basically it's a case of, I've edited it. So now you've got your Ablath, your Boss, your Black Star, and then you've got your Valks, Origin, and Dim. Uh, but the Valks, Origin, the Valks works whenever. Origin and Dim uh, are the basically origins, but they have to be over a hundred fail stack before you're allowed to do that. This doesn't take into account whether the Valks has been added, so you've got to be careful with that. Um, and then each one of these, you can set where you start from. So let's say we go to 20, it'll change the stack. And then you can also change the amount of Valks cry you add in. It'll tell you the cost of making the stack and how many times you have to restart on average to make the stack. So basically, it 2.37 uh, restarts to get a 40 stack means you would basically succeed one of these two prize 1.37 times for every success you have and then same here so we do three prize Rublath with a try uh, sorry with a plus 14 Rublath at the end and this would be 4.3 attempts so you would succeed 3.3 of the time and it would cost 59.8 million uh, so these are multiple of a million as well the costs and then basically uh, this one gets a bit more expensive because I've been put in a black star here and a boss gear here, but this is just to show off uh, some of the stuff that goes here. So I'm gonna go through this bit here now. So first things first, you need to put the price of your black stones. Uh, I do have that at 111, uh, 0.115, because again, it's multiples of a million. Uh, that's what that M stands for. Um, but it shows it as one, two, but it is actually this value that it takes into account. Then the cost of your concentrated black stones, cost of your flawless black stones, which are for your um, black stars. Then we've got a Valk's Cry, uh, Origin of Hunger, if you're going to use that, then Memory Frag prices. That's for your repair on your black star and boss gear, because as you can see, their repair prices are higher. Um, when you get the sheet, this bit's probably not going to be green because it's now automated, so you don't actually have to change it. Um, then this is how much you buy your boss gear for. How much you would sell it when you make it a pen, how much you buy your black star for a pry, and how much you sell it at tet. Now, these numbers aren't accurate, you do need to set these yourself again. And then this here is your base chance. So, if I put this to five, you'll see it edits all of them. Uh, so, basically, put this to the amount that's accurate for you. Um, this bit you don't need to edit, it's just the costs of the stacks, it goes off the cost of your black stones. Now the balancing, this is the most important part of this sheet, and this is where you're going to probably spend your most of your time, getting things balanced. So, on average, it's 8.23, I think, no, 
8.33, I think, off the top of my head. But I go for whole numbers because it makes things easier uh, per tet stack, that is. And then if you're going to do a pen stack, you want to times it by 8 because on average you're going to use 8 tets to make a pen. Uh, but what you're trying to do, this is currently inaccurate because of a couple of things, uh, is get these as close to zero as possible. So the way that I'm doing it right now, uh, I make more duos and more of everything except from prize, which means I'm going to have an issue with needing to change that. But the reason that it's inaccurate for me right now is because I'm using a uh, black star and boss and it's doing those ones. So it's showing like, if I was to continue doing this, I'm going to make loads of tries, but I'm going to run out of tets. So I can't click clicking tets if I'm not making the tets. So you need to make it so that it balances out uh, ideally. Uh, Cause it's not taking into account the cost of uh, basically getting it back up to where it was. Now, what it's going to do here is do if you need to force do or try reblaths uh, to keep your sheet going. So this is the cost for forcing duo. This is the cost for forcing try. Now, what it does is it does, okay, so if we were minus, it would times the cost of this by the amount that you need to force per 110 stack or whatever you're doing. Um, so if I was to put in one pen, it would be a really good way to show it because we're going to have a massive depravity of it. Yeah, that's totally the right word. I don't care at this point. <laughs> um, as you can see, it buffs up the numbers and we are making profit rather than a loss, but then we're making a lot of boss gear here. Um, in fact, it's saying we're making 1.59 uh, pen boss. So we're basically guaranteed to get a boss, but we're going to be down 27.5 tets. So that's not really doable and that's what all the balancing is about i mainly put these ones on here just so that i could see uh exactly whether the math was working and it is so it's a case of here you can see i just go below on tries a little bit on my actual that this is what i use to make my stacks all the time uh, and it's a case of it cost me 10 million per stack on forcing tries now here it basically says the cost of making nine duo stacks, cost of making four tri stacks, cost of making one tet stack, then cost of the making one zero pen stacks. And then this is how much money I'd get if I was to sell the pen boss or the tet uh, black star. Now, because I'm not making any, it's not got a cost. So if I quickly throw a boss one in here, you'll see that it suddenly says, okay, well, that's 332 million that you're getting from that. But again, it's not balanced out. You're not making your stacks. So it's not accurate on that for the price of the actual stack, because if it's not balanced, it's not the actual price. Now that was just basically just to refine it all into one sheet. Um, I know beforehand I had it so that the black star was separate profit. Uh, but that's it for setup other than uh, you need to change these values here. So you need to set whether you have a value pack, your family tax, whether you have a merchant ring. This updates the market tax on all sheets. Now, the, here you need to set your uh, success chance basically for the stack that you've made. So if you've made your fail stack rather than being exactly 110, like if it was 112, it would no longer be the 0 0.3. Um, so you've got to make sure that it's at the point where it's got the chance correct so you can see what's making profit for you. Now at the moment, profit is pretty bleak. Uh, I'm deciding that it's thanks to my spreadsheet because everyone started using it, so everyone's enhancing the same things. So the profit is gone. Now you can also obviously put in pre-order prices. It will help your prices go up, but please be aware that it's only accurate if you can pre-order at that price. Now, unfortunately, um, more people are getting into enhancing, so there's less. Now, I, as I said before, I think I said it before, I might not have said it in this version of the recording. Uh, these ones are broken right now, the Debereka belt, um, basilisk, um, and centaurs. This is due to Warflash's spreadsheet. He's aware of issues with it. Um, Unfortunately, it's just a case of this will be fixed when it's fixed. Uh, but you, if you press F5 to refresh your sheet, if it has been fixed, it would fix these 
Um, unfortunately, it's just a case of waiting until that's fixed. Now, down here, we have a session calculator. So if you want to work out how much profit you made from doing a set thing, uh, for example, this is buying 62 uh, latents, then making 16, 8, 3, and 1, and then selling that one would make you 463, which is pretty close to what it says on the math here. Uh, latents is actually a loss. So that is just working its math stuff at that. I think you're supposed to have a few more bases bought for that, to be fair. That's probably why. Uh, but uh, there's also a couple of things hidden here. So BDO market tra table, ignore that. Cron list, that is for if you're going to do these crons, so you don't really need that. But I've left the black star here, but hidden. So if you do want to use the black star spreadsheet, it's still there. Um, and basically it just works out whether you can make profit and it auto balances for making one tet uh, per attempt and then you'd be down one pry and then obviously you just buy your pry back when you make your tet again. Now this it works different to the normal fail stack so rather than making uh, an actual fail stack what you're doing is you are making a uh, the black star that's what you're aiming for so your first stack is all pry black star your second stack is all duo black star and then your third stack is all try black star to try and get your tet black star to sell now you can make a copy of this and try and make your own one for enhancing boss gear if you just wanted to focus on getting that pen boss gear uh, i wouldn't advise it to be honest uh, it's better just to try and put it into your fail stack designer now that was the tips and tricks part. I just kind of put it on in there. Um, now there is a bit more tips and tricks actually, whilst I remember. So this bit here, I've made it clear now, but you can rename these and it auto updates. So let's say we wanted, I'm pretty sure it's not in there at the moment. We no longer want the tongue grad necklace, let's say. We want to do the ocean haze ring. I don't know if it's been updated onto their sheet, but yeah, so the ocean haze ring isn't there. Uh, we'll go with I'm trying to think of something that's not on this sheet that we can use. I'm assuming all the Debra wreckers are gone. Wrecker earring. Yeah, that one's not working, so they must have gone. Uh, but I'll just put one that's already on here just so that I can show that it is working so there you go now it has that there and um, so you can just update them and they update to what you're wanting straight away uh, it gets it from that spreadsheet um, I'm pretty sure that's everything in the spreadsheet I think there's one more thing in the fail stack designer down here so yeah this is the costs to make your own uh, basically plus 14 and pry reblath or militia just so that you can see the costs that it's going to cost you to make, for example, eight and four, or if you wanted four of each, gives you the prices there. This is working off the base chance, not if you have any fail stacks on them. Um, so that's everything. So if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps to grow my channel. And for those of you that have the luxury, <laughs> uh, please join the memberships. Uh, it helps me basically put more time into making videos. Uh, but I'm not... A asking people to like subscribe to me that way like don't don't do it if you don't want to i'm not forcing you i'm just saying it is now an option with me being a youtube partner it's there for you so that's everything thank you for watching and i'll see you again next time ciao for now